I, we had no idea what we were doing at the at the time. We were just trying. It was Greg Anderson and I starting a new band, and yeah. that was the third band we made. We did Thor's Hammer, and we did Burning Witch, and then we stopped playing together for about two years. And then we got back together, and we're like, let's play guitar again. Yeah. It'll be great. And then we were writing stuff, and at some moment we were we're like, what are we what are we gonna do? We have some cool riffs, and we like this. Um, what do we want to do? And we just decided, why don't we just do this? Just guitar. not find a drummer and a singer and make a band band you know or whatever then we played a few shows but we didn't really have any uh, goals or um, like ambitions besides what was happening right then that actually is a very strong ambition in itself I see now when you just focus on the having the experience in the moment, in the present, you know rather than making a big plan to grow into something of course having goals and direction is important but I think that quality is very important too and that was the first time I really had a philosophical point in the music I'm for real and I didn't know it at the time but in retrospect I think I think that's probably the most important thing that has helped Sun sustain for 20 years it's pretty incredible to have anything for 20 years and one of the things Sun has for 20 years is a friendship between Greg and I a brotherhood we're really good friends. And we like to be together, and we like to play music. It's really simple, but everything else comes out of that. Rather than having achieved things we set out to do, which of course happens at moments, as things get more complex, you have to structure things that way. But Rather than that, we've always allowed ourselves to be surprised and um, kept our expectations low. So when things did happen, opportunities came, or we found opportunities, we discovered things we had no idea about, then it was pleasure, you know. This kind of stuff I talk about a lot in interviews and stuff, and it sounds really stupid, even naive. Or it doesn't sound stupid, it sounds kind of naive and basic. But I think it's really important to talk about this stuff because um, it's real and it has um, allows so much space for the creative side of things and there's some awesome distortion in the background right now <laughs> which is perfect <laughs> I started my zine, it was called Descent Magazine. I started it in 93. I started in 92 and I made one issue which I threw away because although I had interviews with Earth and Morbid Angel and Cathedral in that issue, I got super obsessed with black metal during that period with, with Brazilian, South America, but of course Norwegian, Greek, black metal and at the same time. So I, I, the first issue actually really focuses on that stuff. But um, the second issue, I had Mystifier in there. There was five issues total through the 90s. Yeah, the first issue came out, I was 20 years old. I played music at the time, but the zine was kind of the first step into the underground. And I felt like, oh, I'm so inspired by this stuff. I want to contribute to the scene somehow, the underground. So I started my zine. Um, in 93, I started playing music with some friends and started a band called Thor's Hammer which was also really influenced by black metal and death metal, like Hellhammer and stuff mainly. But um, the zine was kind of my first thing, uh, when connecting with the underground, not just as a consumer. When Sun started, and actually really in the whole period from with Thor's Hammer until about 2000, for like first seven years of me playing in bands, I basically didn't own any gear, really. I had a, um, in Burning Witch, I had one, 
guitar I bought in a pawn shop, a BC Rich MJ series. Bought it for $100. It was a horrible guitar. And I had a Ampeg SS140 and a 412 I borrowed from someone. In Thor's Hammer, I didn't. I borrowed everything. And then I got rid of everything. Didn't have any gear. And when Sun started, um, we were playing in Greg's practice space in downtown LA, space that his band Goat Snake used. Um, and it was shared with the Melvins. Then Greg and I would play basically all the amps that were in there. We just put them together. But I didn't have a guitar then. I was borrowing a guitar. Another BC Rich I would borrow from my friend Raul Caballero from Excruciating Terror, the grind band from LA. He was very, very important in the story. Yeah, I didn't really have gear. It, it, it seems really bizarre now thinking about that since we're so gear centric. But those ideas were more important, you know, somehow. And I could find the gear I needed. And I wasn't a very good player either, so I didn't really know. But, you know, over the years, it became one of the tools and one of the focus of the curiosity of how do you make your sound more like you, more exciting or more developed or uh, colorful. I mean, I just learned step by step. And a lot of the time, it was very minimal. Of course, the Sun Model T was an important thing. Greg found those in Seattle. Um, and a lot of other people who had them in the 90s, they found them because they were cheap. You could buy them in a pawn shop. You couldn't buy a Marshall. Marshall is like a thousand bucks. Sun Model T is 150 bucks. 100 watt amp, whatever. It was a local amp in Seattle. It was, it was a local company. No one wanted that in the 90s. It was too loud. Then we just stick them with that. Those tools, you know, the tools are part of the artist's work but they're not defining it you know the idea is the important thing you learn how to use your tools to make that idea so when I found the Travis Bean guitar um, that was a big step for me because it opened up a lot of ideas with frequencies basically that I hadn't had before and it felt like I had something a bit unique too which motivated me to try and write things that were a bit different than I was writing with my the Les Paul that I ended up having at that time too so just having more equipment doesn't help you make ideas. 